everybody, welcome back to Kent's Food Review. Glad you're here today. Just want to let you all know that we are on another trip. Uh, finally made it down to Providence. The day started about, I don't know what, 4.15. I left the house this morning. It is now, oh, my Lanta. I don't even know what time it is. There's no clock in this thing. What time is it, bro? I don't know. This thing don't want to tell me nothing. It's 48 degrees outside in Providence, though, a.k.a. Warwick. Rhode Island TF Green Airport now. I don't know what the new name is, but we're finally at the airport and just got the new whip. What a what a day it's been already. Apparently there was like a huge thunderstorm in Jacksonville that I drove through this morning on the way to the airport, which caused a delay that caused my flight to not come in on time. And I only had 40 minutes to get through Charlottesville. Um, ran a country mile to get to my connecting flight. Unfortunately, I missed the door. So then I had to get two more flights to get to Providence. So here we are. Let's go have some fun. Hey everyone, so this is Kent from Kent's Food Review. How you doing today? We're about to pull off the ultimate surprise. Kent in a box. I'm glad you're all here to witness this and see this for yourself. We are going in now. So um, stand by and wait for the surprise. Rob has absolutely no idea that I'm down here. I just flew in. I just got off the plane a couple hours ago. Been hiding out, waiting for him to get home and sneak into this box to surprise him. Welcome to Kent in a box. Oh, you know what that's All right. I'm excited. Doesn't know I'm here. This is the best idea Caleb has ever had to do Kent in the box. Are you good? I'm good. Okay, ready? This is, listen. I told you that the kids, the kids have a special present for you. I don't I mind you. how we wrapped it because we didn't know how to wrap this. So, come on in. I'm going to wrap your presents. Yeah. I'm wrapping. Yeah. Bella did this for you. So the first meal we got up here on the birthday of the old carbon is uh, some bruschetta with some delicious Italiano bread. It's not really Italian bread. Bread straight from Brigido's. If you don't know what Brigido's is, get your act together and get some. Uh, we got that beautiful balsamic. Oh, fuck my life. Oh, my lord. That's an outtake video right there. No, oh, so um, that right? this beautiful pre <laughs> with some amazing basil. Hey, Beanie. Nicely fresh basil for that. Plenty of tomatoes and mozzarella. Yours. Oh, that's I just. Mm. Good thing Kim's not here to see what I just did to her bruschetta. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's going to see it eventually. I know, and you're a mom, and you always hear everything. So, I mean, there's no hiding it from you. I just totally butchered this. But um, no, bad, no matter how bad my presentation of it's going to be, uh, let's look that right up. So, uh, as you can see, it's... Plenty of balsamic vinaigrette on that. Nice melted mozzarella on that Parisian bread. <laughs> I'm gonna get the knife chop over here. Uh. 
Is that bump it heavy? I mean, even though I've dropped it everywhere, oh, dropped it at the top of the it's still like no, the number no, one bruschetta you can get. Did you call Greg? Amazing. I called him. Hey everybody, it's Ken from Ken's Food Reviews. How you doing tonight? We got some chicken teriyaki over here. Shrimp and broccoli, that comes in a white sauce. I mean, anything you can do, like if you want like chicken and garlic sauce, I can do it in a white sauce. Oh, that's good. Well, that is that part of the Don't worry. It's Ken's Food Reviews. Sure. Double white sauce. Just. Just. Mmm. Yeah. My long lost boy Trevor over here enjoying that. Beef teriyaki. How's it taste, Trevor? Mm. 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 It's nice to see it. Let us see him go hair on your face. You know, which you know. We had about the same ball spot right there on the chin, though, you know? I ran out of glue. No, I couldn't glue any more on. That makes sense. I, I know the feeling. <laughs> got some teriyaki wings. It's a little more juicy than the uh, teriyaki chicken. The wings are alright. The chicken teriyaki is better. Oh, these boneless. Is it spicy? It has a better spice to it. Put the duck sauce with the hot mustard in it. Uh, chicken on the stick wins. Put a shot of hot mustard Oh yeah. Beef teriyaki. Beef on a stick. Kind of like beef jerky. Somebody's got the water. There you go. It's kind of dry, but it's nice and tender and juicy at the same time. It has mild flavor to it with teriyaki. Not too bad. That's pretty good flavor. I'm into it. And then we ate them the next morning when it was cold. I'll eat it again. That was the best thing we ever contributed. Young Sink does a little bit of that better, I think, though. Has a little more flavor than the teriyaki. We had a job off of Alright, so I've already been digging in the General Tao's chicken. We got some nice sweet sour General Tao's. We did come to Asia two years ago, pre COVID, or while COVID was going on. So I'll call us a post COVID review. <laughs> General Town's chicken is pretty good. It's more of a better than it was the first time I had it. It's a nice light coating, lightly sauteed with some oil. <laughs> And then Ricky went there for a funeral, <laughs> and I said, I, I knew Thomas Ellie's and run it the other night. Chicken's juicy and tender. It's pretty darn good. I yeah, like it. You get some nice big chunks of pork fried rice up in there. On that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this big. The teriyaki ribs, you get a whole rib. Besides so having a nice bonus right there. Nice tender rib loaded with that teriyaki flavor. Absolutely amazing. It's definitely done right. I mean, technically, I, I like it. Beef it was good. Today. She was yeah. 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 You heard it from the man Trevor himself. Oh, yeah.
So good. It's crunchy, soft, and tender in the middle. A little bit of flavor. Pretty delish. Asia Grill, I'm going to give you an absolutely great review. Amazing food service online. Solid 9.2. That's the review. Peace. Jill, that's where you took the fucking strawberries from. <laughs> I knew it. It's missing. Right that was a little delayed. I didn't realize that. I thought you were at the bar. I want to be sitting you and you're going to talk. You're officially 40. Then you're leaving. My mom's still pregnant with me right now. <laughs> One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Everybody, how you doing tonight? Welcome back to Kent's Food Review. <laughs> Glad you're here. We got a hot wing challenge as always. Rob never disappoints with the chicken wings with the hottest hot sauce around. It's a scorpion pepper sauce and a uh, I forget what the other pepper they had on it. What's the other pepper? What's the other pepper on it? Scorpion pepper. What else? Yeah. It's a secret. Rob's secret. So he probably did a combo to make me try it and uh, burn my face off. Let's see how bad it is. These things are a little cute. Look at them. I mean, they're just tiny. Oh, okay. It's a pigeon. It's a pigeon wing. I didn't even know chicken wing right there. Uh, but hey, everyone knows one knows the rules. One bite, rules suck. Watch him not even be hot. Oh, embarrassing. That's got a kick to it. <laughs> Give him the fire extinguisher. Oh, yeah, well. Definitely a little sweet and vinegary right off the bat. That scorpion pepper comes kicking in to save the day. Mm. Wow, that's pretty good. Not too bad, but we definitely have a kick though. It's hotter than that uh, one chip challenge. The wings are pretty solid. The hot sauce is hot enough. And it's not a, it's not overdone. I definitely like the hot sauce. So we got this fondue set. So I'm gonna play around with it a little bit. You know, I've kind of been off my diet for the past couple of days since I've been back home. So, um, you know, me and my fruits right now. Gonna get that protein and fiber and uh, vitamin A, B, Z, and zinc and um, all that other good stuff. You know, so we got so chocolate covered with strawberry. Absolutely awesome, loving it. Fondue sets are the way to go, especially when you load them up with chocolate. Next up, we got a raspberry. Okay, 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 give me the real thing. Why don't you make yourself a chocolate mustache? That's what the people want to see. If you want to see a chocolate mustache, maybe I'll make it happen for y'all. She's a good podcaster. Yep. Chocolate goes good on raspberries as well. Definitely loving it. Now, after all the hard work of being in the gym, working out, and eating healthy for the past few weeks, 
I definitely don't want to kill my diet altogether. So we got a chicken nugget. It is breaded, it's not grilled, but it is what it is and we'll make do with what I have. Right, but yeah, like what you're saying, like you know your regulars, so you could be in a conversation, hey, what do you want? I don't know what I want, could you recommend anything? You're talking to them back and forth. And I'm just trying to stay on my diet and enjoy it at the same time. Hey, Kim. Right, but, but you know what it is though, it's like she, she could be in that conversation getting him and in the meantime, she's got your drink ready to go. But there, there's a few like that. I, I I've definitely had worse. I gotta say the chocolate covered chicken nugget really isn't too bad. <laughs> Nine out of 10. Love it. So apparently we ran out of French fries. So I did the chicken nugget, the fruit, and now I have a gummy bear. Gummy so bear fresh. covered in chocolate. All right, so I'm trying not to make too much of a mess because I don't want to really have to clean it up because I will be cleaning all night, especially with chocolate. So we got the chocolate covered gummy bear. Let's see how this one tastes. It's like gummy chocolate. Decent sugariness to it and texture. The chocolate lasts for a while, but then you get the orange flavor in the back. That's probably the best thing I've dipped in chocolate all night tonight. Nine out of nine. Nine point nine. Uh, so now we got a banana. We're gonna go dip it in some fondue chocolate. Let's see how this works out. How's it taste, Kelly? Like it? Oh, I'm losing my banana. No! Banana down. I don't like Banana down. Someone call 911. Those are good. Banana is down. I'm better. It's going to drop in there. Certain people I know. Chips and chocolate. Oh, Cleve's head. Watch out. Watch out. He died. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Chocolate banana is pretty good. I like it. Watch out. And every two hours or so, I go out there. Jameson Black. That's the secret ingredient? Yeah, Jameson Black. Jameson Black, all right. Cookie. Do you want? Cheers, brother. When I used to do it, like, with the propane, nasty milk. Yeah, that's what I used to do. So what do you think of my mac and cheese roll? No barking. Good. Taste the smoke? Yeah. What do you rate on a scale of one to ten? First time I have it, so. Never had smoked uh, mac and cheese before. No. Never Why did. is it smoked? I thought you didn't have it. I did. Never right. did. Never did. did. Sound to Rob doing the meatloaf. But, but I like it. You like it? Very good. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. How do you like Rob's meatloaf? He did a great job on yeah. that stuffed meatloaf. You definitely have that smoked yeah. flavor in there. Yeah, keep that moisture. Keep the moisture. I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll keep feeding that moisture up. Keep it dripping. And then. So this is what I it's want to do next time. Very good. So brisket. Scale of one to ten. Terrified. Is it Rob's best or? Um, we we'll spend it. Mm, we can do seven. Seven. The whiskey's yeah. cold, right? <laughs> you know, if you screw it up. You screw it up. Okay. Screw it up. That's right. It's all done. So what I'm trying to say is, once he smokes it to it. <laughs> A certain temperature. Yeah. Take it off. <laughs> good Keanu. Keanu. It's cooler for like two and a half hours. So we stuffed the meatloaf with the smoked gyro cheese. Definitely gives it a nice extra kick of that smoky flavor on top of that smoke ring and uh, smoking it in hickory wood. Would you eat that tomorrow on a piece of like a sandwich? Oh, yeah. That's good. Take some over again. That's five pounds on a meatloaf. <laughs> big, big meatloaf. Definitely made a big meatloaf tonight. No doubt about it. It's absolutely delicious. It's not dried out. It's perfectly moist and has perfect flavor. And balance between all three meats. It's everything a meatloaf should be barbecue style. Sounds like a little pig. I was saying that earlier. Too. Give it a nine three, and that's our review. Let me find let me find this recipe, man. Shane, what's the matter? 
So now that we did the habanero beer gummies in the fun, uh, in the chocolate fountain, then we did the chicken nugget. I got some good old Takis right here. Get a nice coating of chocolate on them without making a mess everywhere. There we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, it's better than a chicken nugget. It's like spicy, crunchy chocolate. Give it a six. Not bad.